love this car. This car is fun. I just love this car. This car is beautiful. channel my name is Sean and I drive a 2015 Honda Civic Si and uh, yeah man today we're gonna be doing a little mod video now well not a mod video a mod list video to show you guys all the mods that I have done to the car and have installed on the car cuz uh, lately I've been getting a lot of DMS like I was saying before I was really interrupted about whatever car that was that was making all that noise I've been getting a lot of DMS lately about my SI and you guys been asking me questions like what should be the first mod what should I get for this wheel or I don't know tires and stuff so today I'm gonna do a little overview and show you guys what I have and probably could help you guys choose what mod you want to get for your first mod from looking at my car you guys probably think I have a big model list or a decent side model list and I really don't the mods on this car is very simple and it doesn't take a lot to make an SI look clean and nice so yeah man let's get it all right so we're gonna start from the front of the car and work down to the back of the car because it's simpler and easier and why did I open my hood all the way up let me let me fix that because that's that's a little bit too hot for me there we go that's much better all right so we're gonna start with the engine bay first because I already have the hood open it's pretty dirty right now I need to wash it again but uh yeah so the first thing I have that you guys probably seen and like what's that is a k2 and three inch intake it's a short ramp intake um, doesn't really provide me any like performance mods it does heat soak like when it's really hot outside and uh i just really bought it because i like the sound of vtech like who doesn't so that's the reason why i have this in my car i have another intake sitting in my house but that that requires the rb sweet rbc swap what the hell is rb sweet but it requires the rbc swap so once i get that on i can put that intake on and uh yeah after that i have a cutie uh shifter bushings i think that's what they're called they are very very good definitely recommended for you guys to get if this wants if you want something to be beneficial to you in the long run if you're going to upgrade your shifter or any stuff definitely get these the stock bushings they're like a little squishy and these are like aluminum or i don't know you guys can go look it up but yeah definitely get these recommended those two parts roughly didn't cost me over like probably 250 dollars so it's definitely a good mod to get and if you're not really looking to get the most out your SI, you can get the intake too. But the, I know the, for a fact the QD bushings are $70 or, or $69.99 plus tax, blah, blah, blah. So $70 something. And the K2 intake I got off of uh, eBay for like $120. So, hey man, you save you some, some money. And for the front of the car, I have fake Type R badges because I'm not willing to pay $120 for some real ones. And then for the front lip, as you guys always ask me, is it Icon Motorsport front lip or Acon Motorsport? I don't really know how you pronounce the name of the company. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's, it took a little beating. So yeah, need to patch that up and get it looking good again. Uh, that lip cost me $100. I don't remember the name of the lip. I just remember where I got it from, which is Icon Motorsports. But uh, if you guys go on the website, you, I'm pretty sure you guys can find this lip. So yeah. Uh, for the fog lights, I have fog light tents over it. Uh, $5 fog light eBay tent, which is last bit of me pretty wild now. And it looks good on the car, so yeah, man. Can't say eBay bad for you. eBay good for your health. For my headlights, we have laser fit LED turn singles. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce this brand of the headlight or well, of the that right there i don't know what, what this is really called but yeah if you guys want that i'm gonna leave the link in the description this light was supposed to be a rgb light but it died on me because i bought it for cheap well kind of got it for free but still uh, it was trash so i need to replace those if anybody want to sponsor me some rgb headlights let me know please 
Okay. That's the same setup on this headlight too, of course. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the headlight and the fog light. Now we're gonna talk about the suspension. For the suspension of my car, I am running Rev9 coilovers. They cost me $490 for, for something, almost $500. Don't really remember the pricing, so I know they upped the prices recently. So I probably got it for $450, who knows. But uh, yeah, man, they're a Rev9 Super Street 2, Super Street Sport 2, something like that. You can literally just Google it, it'll pop up. And uh, now they got Super Street 3, which is almost $900. And I want to try it out, but I'm not going to pay that. So Rev9, if you guys want to send me a pair, because I've been supporting you guys from day one. Even though you guys stopped making the downpipe for the SI, I've been supporting y'all with the coilovers and telling everybody to buy y'all coilovers because they're the best bang for the buck. So let me, let me help you help me. Let me help you help me. Now to answer most of you guys' question about my wheel and tire setup, here we go. So I'm running Ahon Racing Wheels AH07 on Achilles ATR Sports 2. The wheel setup is a 18 by eight and a half plus 35 offset on a 225 40 tire. And that's all around. I'm running zero camber in the front and 2.4, 2.3 in the rears. Do I personally like camber? No, I don't. But trying to install those rear camber arms on this car was a pain in the butt. So I just stopped and just left it as it is. And now it's not that bad. I kind of like it. It looks really nice. I don't know what you guys think, but it's not too much and it's not too little. It looks really good. No. Now for my brake setup, it's just stock calibers, stock brakes, uh, spray painting yellow calibers on all four, of course. And uh, the reason why I pick yellow, because yellow and blue just look hard. It just look hard. And for the wheel, they've been super wrapped white. They're originally bronze. And uh, yeah, man, I love the white on the blue and the yellow just, just pops out more. The bronze was just like more aggressive and just, I don't know how to explain it. The bronze just made the car look subtle and didn't really pop up as much. But with the white, you can see the car from like a mile away now. And I kind of enjoy it. It makes the car look, I don't know. I don't know what it makes the car look. I just like the white on the blue on the yellow. It just looks fire. Uh, for my decals and stickers, this is just a Zuby decal. And this is a blacked out strip with like crowns of the Zuby crown under it. So it's pretty fire, pretty hard. Had this for a while now and it's finally given up on me. Like the sides are lifting up. And on that side, it's lifting up a lot. So I have to get this redone. But yeah, man, fire. Also got a member of Marauder sticker that I purchased from Zosh. If you guys don't know who Zosh is, go look him up on YouTube. Pretty funny YouTuber, and he got a clean Integra. Also got this Broly picture that I purchased from this guy on Instagram called Visuals. He does a lot of peekers, and uh, this is probably my favorite sticker that he made. All right, so I'm gonna stop talking about stickers and uh, get back to what you guys probably came for to look at. So for the side of the car, I purchased me some side skirts that was roughly seventy dollars, seventy-five dollars, something like that. Don't really remember, and. Uh, yeah, man, I bought them pre-used, already spray-painted blue, so I saved me tons of money, and uh, yeah, these bad boys look good. I used to have like a side skirt extension that I made, but it recently broke. I don't know if you guys seen that video, but yeah, I destroyed that with my foot. Stupid. For the top of the car, I have this carbon fiber uh, roof spoiler that I purchased off of eBay for 160. Don't really think it's carbon fiber, but it looks pretty damn close to it and looks really good. So one of the questions I get a lot in my DMs is what is this on my spoiler? This is a Password JDM gurney flap. This cost me $200. And uh, Password JDM was so lazy that they couldn't even clear code it. So now it's like fading and stuff. So you guys probably get a video of me like restoring this. If you guys would like that, just let me know and I'll do a video on it. But yeah, it cost me $200. Sadly, Password JDM don't make these anymore. I think they like, I don't know what happened to the company. They just stopped selling stuff. So yeah man you guys won't be able to find this anymore online you probably just find it used but it is another company that makes a gurney flap and it looks better than this and it's way cheaper it's just that it's not carbon fiber so another question i see a lot of my dms is what are these on the back of my car i don't know what you guys call them but i call them rear splats some people call them like back bumper diffuser or back bumper splitter or i don't know what you guys will name these but i call them splats and it cost me twenty dollars off of ebay they came as like carbon fiber to look like and uh i just sprayed them black and mounted it there because it looks clean and looks nice i don't know what you guys think but i like it for my exhaust setup i run a pseudo full exhaust that goes all the way to the stock downpipe 
and it sounds nice sounds deep sounds throaty can't really complain for the price that i bought it for and uh yeah man here's a sound clip right now Hope you guys enjoyed that little sound clip of the car. It sounds really nice, sounds really deep, but it does have a slight leak in the middle that I have to fix. And I just have to have the time yet to take it to the exhaust shop. But yeah, man, I love this exhaust, sounds great. It gives me those little pops and crackles. I can't really complain, especially because I got it for like 250. So yeah, man, I can't really complain. The exhaust sounds great. Only downside about this exhaust is that it's a 2.75 inch rather than a full three inch. So yeah, I don't really think it, it's that bad of an issue and also a little touch that I did to the rear tail light was adding this little vinyl strip of amber to them I bought this off of like GFX P something like that and uh roughly cost me $25 don't really remember I don't know if they put up the price but it should be 25 or 20 dollars and it has this little reverse cutout so when you go in reverse it shines white instead of still shining amber like the rest of the tail light and uh yeah man it looks nice and so far I think I'm the only one who's running this in South Florida and kind of happy about that all right so that's really it for the outside of the car now we're gonna head to the inside of the car and I can show you guys what I've done to the interior all right so first things first I know you guys are gonna ask how did I do this I have a video that you guys could go watch and I can show you guys how I did this uh, it's really hard to explain right here but basically you just take off the door panel and screw and drill and a whole lot of process just to remove this and uh, also I have the steering wheel wrap that I installed I have a video on this as well this is probably one of the most annoying installs that I did to my car and it took me at least seven to eight hours to actually do. So if you guys have patience, it's a mod for you. For my shifter setup, I got myself a likewise shift knob, a cutie little like boot collar release for how much that costs, but it shouldn't be that much. Got myself a babe shift boot, which is really nice, really nice quality too. And uh, I wrapped my bezel, which was supposed to be silver like this, I wrapped the carbon because I don't like silver, and uh, now I kind of kind of wish I didn't because now the shift the shift knob actually matches like the silver in the car. But still, I'm not really a big fan of silver. And also, I got a Siri Moto short shifter that's installed. Makes the throws really short. You guys be the be the judge, but I think that's pretty short for like the price that I bought it for. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior. All right, you guys, so this is where I'm gonna end off the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope I answered most of you guys' questions in this video on where I got my stuff. And hopefully, I helped you guys pick out what you want to do for your first mod. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, man, that's it. Your boy's out. Peace.